Hey, my little angels, come on in, come in, everybody, please. Be comfy, come in, come in, come in. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Don't I look so professional today? <laughs> um, I just wanted to, you know, drop in and say hi, and we're back where it began. My very first video I shot right here, sitting on the floor with the couch behind me. Only this time I, I have a, um, a phone stand. My first video was shot on a big stock pot with a napkin holder behind it, balancing my phone, trying to make it not fall down. But we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> You're all too young to know what that means. Anyways, come on in everybody. Have a seat, have a seat. You sit there, you sit there. Good, good job. And I didn't bring the hammocks down, so just make yourselves comfortable. Sit on the floor with me. That's it, yeah. I know your back is bad, so please sit in that chair. That one's a good one for you. Awesome. And for beverages, <laughs> I made us a lovely, lovely pineapple juice 7-Up and um, frozen mango pieces punch. It's delicious, just delicious. And there's some grenadine in it too, so help yourselves because it's, it's hot. It's hot today and it's humid. Look at this hair. This is natural, guys, like my hair tends to go, it would be fine if all of it would do this, but only one side does this. This side doesn't do that. So. <sighs> I see we have new people. Hello, new people, my new little angels. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And if you like it, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Sharing is caring. And comments are amazing. If you're comfortable, if you're a silent watcher, that's okay too. I'm just happy you're here. But if you're comfortable, please comment. We love interacting with each other. I love interacting with you. I love knowing what you think. I know, love knowing what you feel. I love your video ideas. And I love that when we interact, we connect. And when we connect, we take this great big world and go and make it smaller. And that's a good thing, guys. And please hit that subscribe button below. And hello, 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 hello to all my returning little angels. I see you. You've been away for a while. School, good for you. I'm proud of you, prioritizing. I'm glad you're all here. Please keep those comments coming, guys. I really appreciate it. So let's chat about letting go. One of the hardest things to do but sometimes some of the most fulfilling. Um, I had a really stressful morning. All went well though, so that's done. That's a part I can put behind me now, gone. Um, so when I came home, I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, and I do have two care packages. Well, one's a care package and one's a birthday present. So I wanted to get those um, started. I'm just waiting for the card and I'm done. And then I thought, I need to do some crafts. I need to create something. I could work, there's laundry to do. There's always laundry to do. So I decided to be creative. So I've got two tote bags drying right now, one side so I can do the others. Um, this is a gift for one of our ASMR friends and you'll have to wait and see if they use it to know. But it's beautiful flowers. I believe they're peonies and it means something to me with this person, so. I hope they like it. And then I made myself a trigger board for when I get nails again. <laughs> it's lips, you guys, it's all lips. I wanted to um, do it on a mic cover. I have enough to do a mic cover, but I only have red or black. Neither, neither one looks good. The black shows through. So I gotta pick up a blue mic cover and then I'll put it on. I wish they made white ones. Um, but yeah, that's cool, eh? All those lips. And you know, not everything turns out the way you plan. This one is garbage, garbage. I started trying to do one and it just did not turn out, guys. And that happens. So you know what? Rather than waste any more, oh, it's a segue. Rather than waste any more time on it, I'm letting it go. Sometimes the best laid plans, and I don't mean a craft, 
Sometimes you think your life is going a certain way. And sometimes that plan becomes chains. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes we become prisoner to a plan when that plan no longer is us. And you'll understand if this is, if this means something to you, I think you'll, you understand. Sometimes I had a plan. I did not plan to be on a medical leave at 57. Okay. I like working. I like helping people. Um, but I would never have found YouTube. I would never have found my little angels. I love you guys. I love doing these videos. I love having this channel. Did I see myself having a YouTube channel? It's only a couple years ago I found out what YouTube was. I thought it was some kind of tube top. <laughs> but I didn't, I knew what it was. Don't, I'm not that old. But sometimes we have to let go of things and that's hard. Um, it's harder still to let go of people. And sometimes we really have to. Now, you know me, I'm all about forgiveness. I believe in forgiveness. I give second chances. I give third chances. I give, however, I'm going to tell you something as anti-angel. And one of the reasons I started this channel for you new people, I'm telling you this, um, was A, to spread some positivity and kindness. Um, B was to um, help get rid of the stigma of mental health. And three, to save you any struggle or pain if I could. If you can learn from a mistake I've made, and I've made many, then do so. If I can save you from making the same mistake, that's all I want, okay? And I'm not saying I know it all. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm just a me but I have lived 57 years and I think I've learned a few things, okay? And if you are in a toxic relationship and it can be any kind of toxic relationship, okay, I'm not saying just cut them out, that's it. You have to give them a chance to change. But we're not talking Beauty and the Beast here. Your love isn't gonna change them. You gotta tell them point blank, and sometimes you gotta do it in a letter. This isn't working for me. This is hurting me. This is hurting our relationship. This is the boundaries that I need to set up. If you can abide by those, then we can continue a relationship. If you cannot, I cannot have a relationship with you. I do not hate you. I just cannot have a relationship. I have to put my health first. And that's what you got to do sometimes. If you are in a physical toxic relationship, get the hell out. Okay? No, I know. It's hard. You don't have the money. You're financially abused. There is financial abuse, you guys. They control all the funds. You find a priest. You find a rabbi. You find any kind of clergy. You go to your local hospital. You call your local public health agency. If need be, you call the police, okay? You ask for help. And sometimes those are the hardest words to say, I need help. But you listen to me right now, okay? You are worth more than this. You do not deserve to be hurt. I don't care what your past is. I don't care what you've done. You do not deserve to be hurt. Okay, you deserve love. You are worthy of love. And love doesn't physically hurt you. Okay, you can love that person. You can forgive that person, but you will not stand by and be their punching pig. Okay, and I'm not judging you if you still stay. I'm not in your shoes. And I know how hard it is to let go. Okay, but that's a whole different story. We're not going to talk about the physical stuff right now, guys. I am not um, credentially equipped to deal with that. I can just tell you to ask for help from a trusted person. Avoid family members. Sometimes you don't know which way they're going to sway. 
That's all I'm saying. If you do trust one, then go for it. Okay, back to toxic relationships. It's hard. It's hard, 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 hard. Okay. I have a sister who I have not seen nor heard from since I was 25. I have tried multiple times to reach out to this person and it doesn't matter why they left. It doesn't, but they cut off everybody. Like they started a whole new life. That hurts me more than I can tell you. Okay, this was my little sister. But I wish her well. The door is closed. I will open it anytime she knocks. But I can no longer have an open door. I can no longer let my heart bleed like that. So I've shut the door. I haven't locked it. But I had to let go of that dream. I just let it go. And I'm not saying that was easy. What about somebody? I was thinking recently, um, Uncle Angel works and he, he works in a company that deals with um, family owned businesses as well as big corporate businesses. And he comes home and I always know that one of the family businesses has had to close, especially since COVID guys. He comes home with such a heavy heart because he likes these people and my husband's a good person he is such a good person but i can see the heaviness weighs on his heart but he told me recently about someone and they had to let go of their business dream um, because the partner they had didn't work out and that was so hard for them to just let that go they kept trying to get it back they kept trying to rebuild it didn't work. They couldn't do it. They had to let it go. And they said to him, letting go of it was so hard. But man, I would never have found what I found I have now if I hadn't let go of that. So it, it was like dragging an anchor around with me all the time. Guys, you don't cut the, anchor, you don't cut the rope to save the anchor. You got to save you. Okay. And letting go of dreams, we got to let them go. Okay. I always dreamed I'd go back to school, that I would go to university and get my degree. And it never quite worked out. And I'm not saying never, you know, I have this big wrinkle going on right here. I don't know what the hell that is. Anyways, I'm not saying never, never say never. My friend Grace always says that. Never say never. Um, but I've kind of let go of it. I'm not living through baby angel. That's her, her life, not mine. I don't let her, I don't try to make her live my life. Okay. I did put my foot down years ago that she was going to university. Come hell or hot water. <laughs> um, just to make sure there was ability to. If she decided to do something else, that's her business, her life. Um, but I let go of it and I'm okay. I used to feel so um, inferior, I guess. My husband went to university, has a university degree. All of his friends have university degrees. So when they get together, I would feel, and it's not like they were sitting around discussing physics, okay? But I felt less. And one day my husband said to me, I have a question. And it was some something about a book. And I said, yeah, I've read that. And he goes, you're like the most well-read person I know. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't go to, to further education, so wow. But I did ask a teacher. Um, now, this is how old Auntie Angel is. In Canada, in Ontario, years ago, years ago, we had grade 13, okay? And it was like... You went to grade 12 to go to college. You went to grade 13 to go to university. And it was like a, a almost a university prep level grade is what it was. And I was completely tunnel focused 
on going, I applied to that high school because at that time it had the highest rating to get into university. And I worked my butt off, you know, I was going to university and then my mom got sick and bills piled up and I went to work for a year and I got a credit card and the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> Never went back. Um, but I was so tunnel focused on that, but I remember wanting to be educated and I knew in grade 13 that I wouldn't be going like at the end, even though I had applied and got in and everything, I knew I couldn't go. So I approached this teacher and she was the coolest teacher, Mrs. Pratt. And I said to her, I need books. I need to know what books I need to be well read and to be educated, to, to give off that I, I went further than I did. And she said, okay, come back and see me in a week. And a week later, she gave me a list of 100 books and said, read all of these books and you will be able to converse with anyone on any subject. I wish I still had that list. I really do, but I did get through them all. It took me a few years because some of them were dry. Oh God, Dickens just about killed me, killed me. But I did find one of my favorite books of all time before, this was before Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood came out and it was the right stuff. Oh my gosh, that book, I loved that book. I loved it so much. Um, the movie was good. It was good, but the books are always better. I'm sorry. Um, but I would never have touched that book had she not recommended it. She said, this is one of those books, you know, and Catcher in the Rye was on there. I didn't see the appeal. I'm sorry if that makes me less. I just did not see the appeal of it. Okay, some whiny kid running around swearing. Big deal. Uh, and I have no idea why it was banned. I know it was because of the language, but good God. Come on. Um, I think it was Lolita was on that book, that list. Um, Scandalous. <laughs> and some classics. I've read Moliere, um, Faulkner. I love Nora Roberts, <laughs> Janet Ivanovich. Like, I love to read. Because of the long COVID, I don't get to. That's another thing. I've had to let go of the who I was. And I think that was the hardest thing to do, was to let go of who I was. Until I realized I wasn't doing that. I was letting go of who I thought I was. Who I was is who I am. I had to let go of who I perceived myself to be. And if I can't get through a book a day, then I can't. If it takes me a month, it takes me a month. You know, do I give up? No, you know what I did? I started an ASMR book club because reading is important and we're gonna pick books, you know, that take a month to read, but we can get through them together, you know? And the love of books and, each month, someone else is going to choose the book. So you get to see other people's ideas. And um, I love different per points of view and different perspectives. And, you know, but I had to let go of the whole, I'm a reader. Because right now I can't. I can't focus that long. Um, there's a reason my videos are only 20 to 30 minutes. I really can't focus much longer than that. Um, my crafts I'm loving because I need a craft that I can see results quickly. I have a blanket half knitted because it's taking too long. And the, my focus, I always tell people, don't look at the big picture. I know everyone tells you to look at the big picture, but don't. Look at the little picture in front of you. If you look too far ahead, A, you can lose sight of what's right in front of you and B, sometimes too far ahead you're not going to get there because life has other plans for you and you're not going straight you're going this way or you're going this way so i don't try to look too far ahead um speaking of that 
there's another thing we have to let go of. And it's hard, guys. This one's hard. If you're happy memories, it's a great place to visit occasionally. You don't want to live there, okay? You want to live now, today, in today. The past is gone. You're, if you have regrets, you can change them, okay? You can change what happened. You can make amends by living your life a different way. Um, if you've sincerely apologized and the person doesn't accept your apology, there's actually a Bible verse about that. You know, you've tried, the sin is theirs now. Um, but you have to be sincere and try it several times. But still, you get the gist. But letting go of the past can be really hard and scary. Because we don't realize it, but sometimes the past is our cape. It We put it around ourselves and wrap ourselves in it. And we feel safe. Because the future, that's scary. We don't know what's there. The past, even if it's bad, we know what's there. It's comfortable. We've been there. We know we can get through that. What's up there? I don't know about that one. But you know what, guys? There's goodness out there. There's great things for you out there. Sometimes, and yes, I knew, I knew I saw wicked. So sometimes you just have to take a leap and fly. <laughs> Do you have to defy gra I won't sing, I promise. <laughs> I want to <you> so bad. <laughs> but honestly, what is it? Close your eyes and leap. That's it. Not hold your breath, but close your eyes. But I'm a big one on breathing. Just breathe. Just breathe. Um, so I hope that helped you guys. Um, just a little mental health chat today. Um, I am going to film that video that I've been promising for days, but... The time of the evening comes because I like it dark when I film those kind of meditation videos. Um, but I think I'm just going to close up, close the drapes and turn off the lights and do the, the video t before dinner. Um, it's going to be a visual guided meditation and I hope you'll like it. It's a little different, but I think you'll like it. So guys, thank you for joining me and listening to me go on and on and on and on and on. But remember, I love you. I value you. I honor you, and I am so very, very glad that each and every one of you was born.